the Cooper Union new academic building in the East Village. A new classroom, laboratory, and studio facility designed by Tom Main of Morphosis Architecture and Grisen Sampton was completed in the summer of 2009, replacing the aging Hewitt Academic Building at 41 Cooper Square. In contrast to the foundation building, the so-named new academic building is of modern environmentally green design, housing nine above-ground floors and two basements. The structure features unconventional architecture features, including a full-height grand atrium, prevalent interior windows, a four-story linear central staircase, and upper-level skyways, which reflect the design intention of inspiring, socially interactive space for students and faculty. In addition, the building's design allows for up to 75% natural lighting, further reducing energy cost. Other green features in the design include servo-controlled external wall panels, which can be swiveled open or closed individually in order to regulate interior light and temperature, as well as motorized drapes on all exterior windows. The new academic building is the first academic and laboratory structure in New York City to meet platinum level LEED standards for energy efficiency. The building was funded largely by alumni donations, materialized in nameplates and other textual recognition throughout the building. Primarily designed to house the Cooper Union School of Engineering and School of Art, the new building's first eight above ground floors are populated by classrooms, small engineering laboratories, study lounges, and faculty offices. The ninth top floor is dedicated completely to School of Art studio and classroom space, though other smaller studio spaces are located throughout the building. The lowest basement level consists almost completely of the school's large machine shops and design laboratories, as well as much of the HVAC and supply infrastructure. The building's first basement level houses primarily the Frederick P. Rose Auditorium, a 300 capacity lecture hall and event space designed as a smaller, more modern alternative to the Great Hall. In addition, the first basement's menstrual conference room provides a high profile space for meetings and classes and features a high definition video conferencing system linked to two other similar spaces in the upper floors of the building. This has been a RDA production Thanks to the City of New York, Wikipedia, Morphosis Architects, and all contributors, large and small.